Hey what's up everyone, this is Shortsu and I'm here to do a giveaway video and a, a Cinema 4D tutorial. In this, I'm getting, doing this giveaway to thank you all for the 200 subscribers that I got 2 weeks ago. I have been trying to do this video for only like 2 weeks and I never got a time but today I'm probably gonna do it. So yeah, in today's GFX pack, texture giveaway pack this is what I'm going to give you guys away it's it has some cool actions photoshop actions some favorite some of my fonts some fractal images some frosted backgrounds that you can use in a way like um, this and you can, I use this as a banner and more at many places you can use it in many many ways you can use these lens flares you know just copy in photoshop like wait a second let me show you i'm just going to drag this in photoshop and hit enter you guys see like the fur it's black but you know you can just hit screen okay like mask it out okay. there are many ways you can do it like this you can mask it Alright, alright, and you can. I'm giving away these textures. These textures are really good. I've tried them. You know, size it up, hit enter, make it overlay, soft lights, you know, make it opacity a bit more. So, yeah, thank you all guys. I'm doing this giveaway. I, you can download this from my website, links will be in the description below. And in today's tutorial, we're gonna create this beautiful Ivy Grower plugin usage. It's pretty easy, uh, pretty easy to do, and, but and it really looks good. So let's get into this tool. Open up Cinema 40, I'm using Cinema 40 R15. Mm, and let's get into this so let's hit, hold the cube here and drag the cube and let's change its angle to negative 90 let's increase its inner radius to like 123 decrease its arrays a bit let's change the cap segment to like 3 add a fillet make sure that it on because if you don't want you can but I probably like using using threads a lot let's use these segments and yeah alright so let's see how it looks from there to here alright it looks good now I'm gonna go in, in the front view by clicking here and just looking at front view then it's in area. let's select the bezel and click here and I'm going to hold shift and click here now what we can we should we will do actually is bring out speed and bring out uh, Bring out a circle and let's mm, change it to this like six and let's drag this sweep uh, circle in the sweep first and then the spine. You may always remember guys drag the circle first. Alright? So And I'll position this yeah, like here. And now I'll go here, deselect this, and I'll bring out Ivy Drawer. And I'll select the tube and double click here to make a yellow point. And let's select the Ivy Drawer 
growth, go to growth and go. You know, you can start the growth uh, whenever you want, but I'll just let it grow a bit. Um, oh, it stopped growing, then life release. And now I'll go to birth and give a birth. Alright, it's looking pretty nice. Now, I'm just gonna change my render settings to load this um, best settings. I've already saved You can use whatever resolution you want. Add in. You know, the main thing is just add an ambient occlusion, global illumination, and change its width and height to 1920 by 1080. Alright? Now, I will go to presets, use the texture fit pro, and I will go to transparency. Oops, transparent law. I'll go to wind, wood and select fiberboard dark and I will use it both on sweeps that is the pipe stuff going on and this tube. Okay, now we have to do two things that is the lightning and the background. I'll tell you guys. Okay. Select the background and I'll make a new material. Go to texture and select gradient. In the gradient. I'm gonna change this to light again and I'm just gonna change this to like this. And I will go to circular. Okay? And I will um, try this on the background. Now the last thing we have to do is we have to get the lightning done. So I'm just gonna select two soft boxes. Yes, yeah, two soft boxes and an old soft box. Okay, so I'm just gonna position them. Yeah, so I guess this is good look, but if you don't, let me sh tell you if you don't have any of these uh, packs, both. Both the packs are by GSG by the way. Um, you can for this like tube and the pipe you can use this branch one. This also looks good on the tube to me. And for the lightning you can do is make a film. Alright, I'm just gonna tell you guys the way you can see some of your ones. And Make a new material right here. Let's untick this and tick luminance. Okay? And drag it to here. Okay. And I will go to lights and add an A light. Okay. I will like change it. Let's make it 90. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness, I have no idea. How this works. Everything is a bit different. Right, so if we're using Cinema 4D R15, go to the red one and let's do this. You know what? Like this. And let's. I think that's a lot.
okay. No, I don't move it to the top, move the train a bit to the and very slow. You just need to do it. Let's see if you can get to it. Oops. Yeah. Make sure it's angled a bit better. Oh no. Take a while. So with this, it's your own softbox. Oh no no no! It's your own softbox, and you can like drag it up. See, it does fit you like. But I have already, I already have this, so I will burn it. Don't need it. I do. And now I will burn it out. And it will take a bit time to me, so I will uh, meet you guys just in a second. Welcome back, guys. So it has it is rendered out now, and as you can see, it's pretty nice. Now what you can do is first let's save it. Don't click on it, okay? Let's change it to JPEG to options, and I'm going to come here. I hit OK, and then you hit OK, pop up options come up, and I'm going to say So you guys can get this project file from the website for uh, free. And I'm going to just save this to so Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video guys, please give this video a like. Get the GFX pack from the uh, download uh, from down download links and yeah guys uh, you can get another GFX pack for uh, GFX pack and the pack it's it is by my friend the mod his channel name is uh, attention I would give you the uh, video link in the description below you can get the information about the pack so yeah guys thank you so much for watching uh, uh, thanks for all the support guys I love you all and yeah I'll meet you guys next time peace